Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The 7th of January, 2023, Saturday before Epiphany, is the first Saturday of the month and the optional memorial of St. Raymond of Penafort. A good life gives ease to the mind, and a pure conscience affords great confidence towards God. Daily Prayer Heavenly Father, you have revealed your glory in our Lord Jesus Christ. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may bring you glory in all that I do and say. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word At Cana, Mary is the one who notices the shortage of wine and presents it confidently to her son. She, above all, knows that he hears us in regard to whatever we ask. Ultimately, Jesus Christ, the one who is true, is the bridegroom, and we, his faithful, his people, his bride, exult in glory. The Epistle God hears us in regard to whatever we ask. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 5, verse 14. Beloved, we have this confidence in God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us in regard to whatever we ask, we know that what we have asked Him for is ours. If anyone sees his brother sinning, if the sin is not deadly, he should pray to God and he will give him life. This is only for those whose sin is not deadly. There is such a thing as deadly sin, about which I do not say that you should pray. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not deadly. We know that anyone begotten by God does not sin, but the one begotten by God he protects, and the evil one cannot touch him. We know that we belong to God, and the whole world is under the power of the evil one. We also know that the Son of God has come and has given us discernment to know the one who is true. And we are in the one who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Children, be on your guard against idols. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 49 Responsorial The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in His people. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 2 verse 1. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, Although the servers, who had drawn the water, knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation His disciples began to believe in him. John chapter 2 verse 11 John has already told us about how Jesus' disciples were sure they had found the Messiah, John, chapter 1 verse 41 so why does he tell us now that jesus miracle of changing water into wine is when they truly began to believe in him john chapter 2 verse 11 maybe it was like that feeling you get when your favorite sports team drafts a star player you might think about how this awesome pick can change the whole team but you still want to see how he actually proves himself. Until this wedding feast, Jesus hadn't yet produced any signs that proved himself enough to calm their doubts. But now that he had revealed his glory, the disciples were far more confident that Jesus was the Messiah. John chapter 2 verse 11 And what a Messiah he proved to be! He was a humble Messiah who cared about even minor struggles like running out of wine at a wedding. He was a Messiah who was concerned about ordinary people and who brought God's compassion and power into every place he went. And perhaps most of all, he was a Messiah whose love was extravagant and generous, someone who gave his people only the best just like the good wine that he gave this newlywed couple. John chapter 2 verse 10 As dramatic as it is, this miracle was just the beginning of the disciples' journey of faith in the Lord. And just as it happened for them, God wants our faith in Him to continue to change and grow as we spend time with Him. He wants to convince us more and more deeply that love is at the heart of His mission, a love even stronger than the love between a husband and wife on their wedding day. You might be like the disciples in today's passage, just starting your journey of faith, or maybe you have been following Jesus for a long time. Either way, Know that God has more that He wants to give you. More love, more grace, more revelation, more of everything. 
There is no end to Jesus' ability to draw you closer to Him. Jesus, thank you for giving me the new wine of your love. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.